Well, good morning, YouTube. Uh, Grandpa Cavendish here, Tuesday morning in New York. It's quite a rainy uh, day, so I'm inside today in my living room. And uh, enjoying the, uh, the Peterson Meerschaum here. Getting some color on this pipe, uh, as you can see. Starting to uh, look a little good. Always smokes great. And today I'm enjoying an aromatic. Um, there's been uh, quite a bit of discussion uh, in the YouTube pipe community, particularly the German community, about aromatics and American aromatics and and uh, those folks' disappointment, really, in American aromatics, that uh, they tend just to be sticky, chemical tasting, you know, not really true flavors, uh, you know, and just overall uh, disappointments, uh, as opposed to maybe some of the others, some of the European brands. Um, so I thought I'd explore aromatics a bit more myself, because I've never found one at least an American aromatic that I've enjoyed. Uh, I've always had problems with that chemical taste, the propylene glycol that's used in them. Uh, so I recently ordered one, and it's this one, Peterson's Founder's Choice. And... Uh, I've been liking this one. This is a pretty good one. Uh, when you open the tin, you really get a fruit aroma. Now I'm, I, I, I don't know if I'm, if I'm really keen on fruit aromatics, but this one is mango together with vanilla and rum. So it's a nice combination. Uh, it's, it actually tastes better than it sounds, I think. Uh, it's a mixture of Virginia, Burley, Orientals, and Black Cavendish. And, uh... If you can see that, it's a uh, a cube cut, so there's a fair amount of of fairly large cubes, uh, and these are soft cubes, kind of spongy almost. So they're not really hard, so it actually burns well. It, it, it's, it doesn't, we require a lot of relights once you get it going. That's the issue, is initially getting it going. But it burns well. It burns for a long time because of that cube cut. And it burns very cool. And that's been one of the issues that I've always had with aromatics is they burn hot. So this one burns cool. It has that really nice fruity aroma in the tin. And you pick it up in the taste. But you continue to get the tobacco taste, particularly the oriental comes through. So it's a nice, uh, sweet, sour kind of interplay, which is nice. The tobacco taste comes through. It's definitely fruity. It's, you, you, you pick up that vanilla, every now and then, 
the rum, I, I guess, is mixed in there. I don't distinguish that on its own, but it's part of the overall conglomerate of flavors, which comes through really pretty tasty. It reminds me a bit of Peterson's Sunset Breeze, which is amaretto, and I've always enjoyed that, but I, I had a problem with tongue bite with that one. So this is similar, you might say, in flavor, uh, but burns much cooler. And uh, burns very slowly. Does require a little relighting. But as I said, once it gets going, you do pretty well with it. So, I just thought I'd throw that out there as an aromatic choice. If you've not heard of Peterson's Founder's Choice. And from what I understand, this is the same mixture as their St. Patrick's Day 2015, which of course is no longer available, but this is. So, if you enjoyed that at that time, or you're just looking for a nice aromatic, uh, this might be the one. And uh, it pairs very nicely with coffee. That's one of the things that's important for me, is does it pair with coffee or tea? And this does with the coffee. The fruit, the rum, kind of go well with coffee. So, just a thought for anybody that's interested in an aromatic or would like to get into aromatics. I mean, I haven't smoked a lot of aromatics these past uh, year or so, just because I haven't really found one that I enjoyed. Not that I wouldn't like to. I would like to, but uh, it's tough sometimes to find a good one. Uh, so this may very well be a, a, a regular. So uh, just thought I'd uh, throw that out there to chime in, uh, as I say, particularly with this discussion that's going on in the German uh, YouTube pipe community about aromatics and uh, uh, and the uh, you know the German the European aromatics versus the American aromatics. Uh, of course, those folks uh, seem to enjoy the ones from Dan Tobacco, uh, which is a German uh, firm uh, who does make very good aromatics, from what I understand. So. Uh, uh, you might want to explore those as well if you've not found a, an American one to your choice. All right, folks. Just thought I'd throw that out there and hope you're all doing well. And uh, the spring is here again, so uh, maybe it's aromatic time, right? <laughs> we all, maybe we're getting away from the heavier blends of winter and looking for something a little lighter, uh, more spring, spring-like, uh, fruity, florally, something that reminds us of, uh, spring blooming around us, whatever. Okay, folks, Grandpa Cavendish signing off. Hope you have a great week. We'll see you all soon. Be well.